Drew, we came into the office today and someone said, we don't have anything to quick look. And I said, I'll find something. <laughs> you said, wait a minute. Uh, There's I mean, that game. <laughs> I, I have, uh, you know, because I, you know, I do worth reading every week where I highlight some of the weirder stuff that doesn't necessarily make sense for a quick look. Uh, this game receiver was on that list of games I wanted to check out, and then once I did, I was like, I think I know just the man that will find this interesting enough yeah? for us to do this as a quick look. Okay. So this is Receiver. Uh, I think it's uh, Wolf Fire Games is the name of the development studio. Okay. They did also this sort of like realistic physics bunny fighting game called Overgrowth I that people might be familiar with. You showed with. me a video of that and I, I vaguely remember. It's like hidden in the back of my mind seeing that video. It was a little more popular, I want to say a couple of years ago, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. But this, so that'll give you some context if, if you vaguely remember seeing a YouTube video of it something was, like that. It was kind of weird. So, and this is already kind of weird, Patrick. So this was made in seven days by the same studio. Um, really? As part of a game jam. Okay. Um, they're like, game jams are usually, you know, 24 hours, 48 hours. The Molly Jam that we did was um, 48 hours. But some, there's a growing consensus that maybe some of these game jams should be longer because the shorter ones encourage uh, crunch time and just like, you know, have normal game development practices. So anyway, this one was made over seven days. And it's about the realistic simulation of a gun, or at least much more so than most video games ever give you any idea of. Most games are... Pull the left trigger and then pull the right trigger. You aim yeah. and then shoot. Uh, but so this, I've brought up the help menu. You don't have to have it up, but we are going to have it up. Um, and this gives you real control over a lot of this this, this weapon. Um, so if I try and fire, I'm hitting the left mouse click. Uh -huh. Nothing's going on. Um, so I got to toggle that safety. Uh, now that I've toggled the safety, it has assumed a new position, which is a, a firing position. Uh, but I can't I can't do anything. So I got to. I don't have any bullets, so. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I got some bullets. Okay, hold on a second. Um, so insert that magazine again. Uh, there we go. Wow. So you Jeez. have to you have to go through all the motions. Yeah. Uh, so you could uh, you could be running around rooms and uh, stumbling upon enemies, and then you forgot to turn the safety off. <laughs> um, well, I can pick up some other. Mother it's also realistic. Use technology to control physical things. Well, okay, so this. Similarly, I guess this is. Tech, I guess this is, is part of the game. To control the <laughs> we heard this earlier, and we were like, "What is happening?" Tech can be used for good. I don't know what evil. this is. Uh, you'll see is in the corner it says zero tapes out of eleven. I assume maybe that's you, what so this far, is. Has caused is this Werner Herzog? And mental weakness. Pretty, it's pretty close. Now that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow, mind kill. But they are aware oh, that's right. That okay, yeah, we're in a mind kill they facility. Have okay, weapon. what is will bring the bear Patrick? What is a mind kill? Oh, I don't know. The oh. dreaming. We're gonna try and check out this drone that just they I think spotted exist us. They fully in this reality, but they have been watching you and experimenting. Oh, oh no! Son of a bitch. <laughs> the dreaming. Is a trick. So you're just dead? <sighs> yeah, it's a, it's it, it takes inspiration from roguelikes and that. So you start you spawn back into the world in a random spot. Uh, I'm pretty sure the tapes, maybe the tape. I don't know how the tapes work, but it's sort of like, you know, a game like Slender Man or something in that capacity where you have a pretty simple objective to accomplish. But every time you come back into the world, uh, you have usually a different gun. Okay. Uh, so immediately, the first thing you want to do is figure out what did I just, what did they just give me? So it's this like time, a revolver. Okay, yeah. got a revolver. Um, got to insert bullets. Um, my favorite one probably about this one is that, okay, so I close the cylinder and then now I can fire. So I fired all my bullets. Uh, open the cylinder. Dump yeah, the casings. Yeah, you gotta empty them out, sure. And they don't all dump out at once. Yeah. So you gotta do it like multiple that's, times. That's realistic. Uh, and then I place those back in. And, you know, the game never gives you any sort of ammunition count. Like, you don't know uh, how many you've got left unless you actually open the cylinder and check. But even once you've opened the cylinder, you have no idea. Sure. What, which ones you fired, unless you've been keeping track of it. Did I fire five or six? Uh, so we'll put that back in. Uh, you can also host, holster it. Uh, I assume maybe that's because you might be able to find multiple weapons, and that becomes part of your inventory. Mm. But I have I have definitely not survived any encounter with anything I have found in this <laughs> game. Uh, I've, I've actually just been much more fascinated with, okay, what weapon did they give me? And just kind of messing around uh, with that stuff, which ultimately I think is a lot of the real... 
uh, attraction of this. Wait, I, so I should be able to fire it now. Yeah, okay. It's all, see, look at that. Whoa. Can you, can you pull back the hammer manually and then put the hammer forward without firing it? Yeah, pull back hammer. Oh, look at that, I can, look at that. Oh, wait, I can, it says I should be able to spin the cylinder. Could I do that if I? Uh, it might have to be open. Okay, so open the cylinder. Look at that, nice. Look at that. If only there was a way to like flick your wrist and close it without <laughs> using your hand. Uh, all right, so we'll close that. No idea if now I am on the, the, the bullet that will be, could be fired. That right? might be an empty casing now. Um, it's like the deer hunter. Okay, we just you found a... Uh, technology to oh, control geez. physical things. I think we might stop Similarly, collecting those tapes. Mind tech, which is used to control the boundless luminescence. <laughs> mind tech can be used for good or evil. The threat has been using its Look, mind I mean, these guys made a video game about you. And bunnies so far, that are fighting with real physi realistic physics, so... If this wasn't physics. surreal before... Yeah. Now that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow. Mind kill. But they are aware that will not work on you. They have another potent weapon they will bring to bear against receivers called the Dreaming. They cannot exist fully oh, man, in this Patrick. reality, but they have been watching you and experimenting <laughs> and have developed this new mind tech. The Dreaming is a bridge from our world to yours, and they will use this bridge to send specially conceived of weapons designed to work in your environment. Uh -huh. These automatic weapons are designed to kill the few who survive. Okay. It was funny when uh, I was first loading this up and we had the volume kind of turned down. I was just kind of getting my feet wet with this game. And this that audio came up. And I like, asked you, like, is there something weird going on in the <laughs> control room? Like, is there just like some Scientology video that Vinny loaded up just to <laughs> weird everybody out? Because uh, I don't. Oh, oh no, fuck! I'm dead. Jeez. I fucking died. Those turrets do not mess around. Uh, yeah, this game. Does not mess around. Um, oh, same gun, looks like. So, yeah, it looks like I got another. Is it just pistols? Have you gotten. A... I think so. At least, okay. certainly, the weapons you start with. I don't know if you get further in. Because all this is randomly spawned. So, it's, it's possible that there are weapons in the environment uh, that you find later. And also, the little digging around I was doing was that there's a really big modding community for this. Really? Uh, that have kind of taken. Uh, or at least for you know for a game of this scale, sure. uh, you can you can imagine that this would appeal to a certain audience. Uh, so one of the other interesting things is that so you can change the distance. Huh. Okay. Uh, so you know th this is a little more traditional you know first person shooter like being so close so you can try and create like some semblance of a reticle even though there's not one actually there. Right. Uh, the game starts out with it really. Like, like where it would be. Yeah, where it would be if you were actually like using your, your arm. You know, Doom is way ahead of its time in realism. Exactly. Okay. Oh. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I oh, probably Patrick. did not. I didn't set up my gun! Okay. Take out my gun. Open cylinder. Oh, I should have emptied it first. Yeah, I know. I know. Mistakes were made, to quote Will Smith. Uh, now, close cylinder. Maybe, maybe just for, just for good luck. I'm gonna spin it. <laughs> I'm gonna spin it. We'll just see where that lands. All right. So you're gonna get one blank in there. Yep. It'll fly. Yeah. Nice. Gotcha. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna dump these. You have one bullet left. Are you keeping track? Yeah. All right. Uh, but I don't know where it is. It could be the next one. Could take two pulls. Open cylinder. Extract casings. Oh, look at that one dump. Nice. Gotcha. It's all the bullets I've left. Okay. Do I have to pull back the hammer again? Sure. And there's... Shut up! Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn it. Check your corners, Patrick. <laughs> Officer Klepek. This is why I was rejected from law enforcement. 
Um, all right, so. What's going on in here? Some art. It's a weird you know, looking couch. In the mine kill facility. Uh, I don't have enough light. There we go. Post cylinder. I wonder if they start you, like I wonder if all of those bullets, like I don't know if those are blanks or not. They might start me with blanks. Pick up nearby. Oh, I got some bullets. Perfect. Uh, pull back. Hammer. Oh, it's already done. All right. Give me that flashlight. And I, I guess I can put the flashlight away. If I want. I like just the disembodied nature of all of this stuff. Sure. Have you ever have you ever fired a gun before? Uh, yeah, I have. Um, Do you know what kind? Uh, a, a few different kinds, both uh, semi-automatic pistols and revolvers like this. Um, I, I, I like the touch of uh, emptying the casings and not having all of them come out because that totally happens. <laughs> or have you, oh, have you fired a revolver and had that happen? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, every time you empty, sometimes you get them all and you're like, sweet, but sometimes. <laughs> oh. All right, what well, if I put that away? How about you? Did I get it? Maybe. Not shooting at you, so. Oh, well, that one is. Uh, yes, uh, a number of years ago, but yeah, one time, uh, and I could, you know, couldn't tell you exact specifics of whatever weapons it was, but it was just at a firing range and sort of like a whole, hey, you've never done this before, so we'll try a couple different ones, and it's. It's a unique experience that I do definitely recommend once, uh, even if the experience makes you uncomfortable. Yes, I think especially I, I th if it I th does. I th especially given my line of work and how many video games I play that involve guns, I, f I find it interesting to ground yourself a little bit in, what is it like to actually wield one of these things? Um, yeah, that's why this is intriguing to me, because it's like, it's sort of halfway between video right. game guns and real guns. Right, like it doesn't go all the way, um, but it goes a whole hell of a lot further than anything else. Yeah. You know, it's, you know it's, it's what makes me laugh like playing this and then thinking about people like Brad who reload every single time they fire a bullet. Right, yeah. And then when you have to do that in in this game, you know, it's, it's such a laborious process that you, you don't want to do it or you want to make sure you've spent all of your bullets before you get around. Right. Or what just is, like, you know, hitting reload. I'm not gonna collect that. I'm not gonna do what oh, the game wants me to do. <laughs> I yeah, don't wanna no. listen to that tape again. Uh, you know, reloading, when you've got a magazine, um, you know, in video games, it just drops away and then you magically have it in your hand and just slap it in, in like right. all under a second. So we can go around. Oh, don't, don't. All right, we were in that room. No one, no one, no one. I, mean, I can't even think of, like, you play more sim-angled games than I do. Like, have you played anything that even remotely tries to <sighs> simulate the, the firing of a gun more so than just, you know, hitting R? I mean, uh, some games will Guns will jam on you, and you'll have to remove a jam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man. I loved that about Far Cry 2. Did you play Far Cry 2 at all? No, no, not really. Um, so in Far Cry 2, you could buy uh, better quality weapons, but and usually the weapons you would find from like the Rebels or whatever like the generic enemy set was in that game, uh -huh. um, they would normally have rusty weapons. And oh, you it. could pick those up, and they would work, Oh, but um, usually if you, st if you tried to use it as your primary weapon for too long, uh, you would find out that uh, it would jam. And so right in the middle of battle, while like fire is raging all around you, sure. you would have to try, try and switch weapons or there, you know, you could unjam it. Like there, there was a button to do that. Right. And I, I, I know a lot of people found that really frustrating, but I thought, I just thought that was really interesting because it, Introduced a pretty random element. Oh, it's oh, drone. Flying, dude. 
I thought you don't see in a lot of games. Yeah, um, exactly. Like other games, your gun is just always so reliable. I want those bullets. Oh, I don't want that tape. No, because it's going to play the same thing. <laughs> yeah, if I, get, if, I wish those tapes cycled. Yeah. Uh, that's assuming that's the storyline even really goes anywhere. But, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I get it. Like, they're just randomly spawning into this world. They want to give you something to do that is beyond just uh, shoot, go shoot shot. those. Yeah, exactly. Although, you know what? For, for what this game is, that's kind of enough for me because uh, I see, I feel like the... The arc of skill of playing this game is probably more about like how long can you play with that turned off, because it, it nicely highlights the things you can do and the different modes you have it. Uh huh. But you know the true skill would be like turning this off and remembering, like okay that brings it out. Do you think there's a, a happy I... medium between this and um, you know a traditional way of, of showing guns uh, that would? find a good place in like a survival horror game. Yeah, I, I, de I definitely think so. Although, usually what ends up happening is those sorts of mechanics uh, are relegated to sort of smaller subgenres that appeal to a tinier audience. And there's a fear that implementing those sorts of, I don't want to call them more frustrating, but more nuanced approaches to like using the gun would frustrate a wider audience. And I don't, I think there's a way that you could do both. I think there's a way you could not necessarily have it as hardcore as what's represented here in Receiver, but something that goes a step beyond uh, just hitting reload and not having any consequence for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, what a lot of, uh, especially World War II games do, is that they'll treat magazines as physical objects. Oh, man. What do, you, what do you mean by treat them as physical objects? Like, uh, you don't just have a, a magical ammo pool. Oh, sure. Um, you know, if you reload whatever bullets in that magazine that weren't that you hadn't used uh -huh. are gone. Um, you know, Day of Defeat does that. Uh, Red Orchestra does that. That's part of the appeal I had for Metro 2033. Oh, yeah. You, you know, you have these cr crappy, rusty bullets that work, but aren't as powerful. And mm -hmm. you can collect those gold bullets which are much more powerful, but get a lot of money on the black market, and you want to use that to like buy new weapons, buy ammunition, and it's... I thought that made for a really cool tension that not a lot of other games, not a lot of games were able to pull off. Yeah. Because your ammunition is your currency, and thus you have a really vested interest. Ooh, I think I only fired two shots. Gotcha. Nice shot. Boom. Oh, no. oh, I thought I killed you! Wait, did I? Oh, yeah. I guess I partially took it out? Weird. Oh, what's the button to dump them? Mm. Oh, you can tell. You've got one shot left. How can you tell? You see the, the divots? Uh, oh, holy shit. Yeah. So if I... Oh, wow. I didn't know you were that dexterous with the... Uh, you could be that dexterous with the... So then if I... If you pop that, uh, hmm. is that one it? Call me E. I think back one. Um, Counterclockwise. Oh, the other way. Two there. I think that. Yeah, you're right. Let's test it. Oh, is that wrong? Oh, back on the lighting. Hmm. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm wrong about the way it spins. Maybe that's it. We're gonna figure out this mystery. Okay, now it just moved. So it moved two places. What if? No. Hmm. All right, I think it is rotating counterclockwise. So which one do you think I should put it at? So it, if you load it up with the bullet in the chamber already, it won't fire because the action of pulling the trigger spins the barrel. Oh, so we have to account for that. Right, so it's gotta be one before uh, the, so this one? the chamber. I don't know. Sure. Oh, it's rotating it's, that it's, way. Yeah, it's going, yeah, it's going oh, counterclockwise. Oh, 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 oh. So that, I think, is right. This, this one? Yeah. Wait. Maybe back, yeah, ah, like come that. On. Come on. Yeah. Try that. That one? Yeah. One more. Yeah, there you go. you're right. Awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and, and 
I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of neat to have a better understanding of how all this stuff all this stuff works. It's, it's you know, g games through the virtue of their interactivity have an ability to like. This is fun in a certain way, even though you could just read all about this or watch it in a video. But there's really something to the, the act of like actually having to. Oh, what's uh, where's the dump? Dump, 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 dump. Extract uh, cases. The, yeah. I don't know, there's, some, there's something to it that's just... Oh, get out of there! Pretty neat. Um, yeah. But I mean, that's this is kind of all there is to Receiver. It's, it's only five bucks. Uh, if you go to a, uh, the Wolf Fire Games uh, website, uh, you can buy it through PayPal, Amazon Payments, and whatever, Google Wallet. I think that's what Google's wow. thing is. Wow, all right. Um, it's made in seven days, and if you go to the, the, the Wolf Fire website, um, their message boards has the modding community, and... I didn't have a chance to check out too much of it, but uh, it seems like there's a pretty dedicated base of people interested in taking these sort of base mechanics and, and doing something uh, a little more with them. Uh, I, I don't know if Wolf Fire themselves are, but I'd really like to see them make something uh, a little more expansive with it. But that is a uh, receiver, and uh, thank you, Drew, for guiding me through this. Thanks, Patrick. We got Jeff over in the control room. Oh, we do. Hey, Jeff. So I'm going to teach Jeff how to fade to black. Great. So Jeff, in the lower right corner of the TriCaster board, there's a button called FTB. Hit that, and then take the T-bar down. We learned how to fire a gun, and Jeff learns too.